Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. A viewer asked me a very interesting technical question. I've never heard it. I've never been asked this question before. And it's an intelligent question, and I sent him uh, the best answer I could, seeing it was about probably three in the morning or something like that. I tend to have erratic sleep hours for a variety of reasons into which I will not go other than to say that I am a, a, a weird person. <laughs> WP, W, well, never mind. When you have a dipole antenna, a half-wave center-fed dipole antenna. It presents a purely resistive, uh, radiation resistive, purely resistive impedance of about 73 to 75 ohms. If it's in the clear, no obstructions, etc., um, etc. Et in the ideal case, if it's straight, uh, this will also be more or less true. It will present a purely resistive impedance at odd number multiples of that length. So, for example, a 40 meter antenna, 7 megahertz resonant dipole antenna, taking the electrical wavelength, not the literal spatial wavelength, into account, measures about 66 feet from end to end. 7 megahertz dipole, 66 feet or 20 meters. You can take the fundamental thumb of rule, the meters of the wavelength of the band you're using, the dipole is going to have an end to end length of about a half that number of meters, a half wave dipole. Well, a one and a half wave or a three halves wave dipole would be about 33 times. Uh, 66 feet times 3 or something on the order of 200 feet or 197 feet, something like that, or uh, about 60 meters long. Three halves waves dipole on 7 megahertz. And so it goes. Odd number multiples of a half wavelength electrically from end to end for a dipole will present a purely resistive impedance in the neighborhood of 75 ohms. I think it's a little higher at three halves waves, maybe 85 or 95 ohms, and higher still at five halves of a wavelength, seven halves of a wavelength, etc., etc. A common trick is to use a seven megahertz dipole on 21 megahertz and that is in fact exactly what I did when I first got my general class license and was able to operate uh, well actually I did it as a, as a novice because it was in the novice part of the band 7185 kilo cycles uh, I had a 7035 kilo cycle crystal that I couldn't use on 40 meters but it, the third harmonic 21.105 mega cycles fell in the novice portion of the 15 meter band. And so I sent CQDX, CQDX, D E W A 0 O K V, W A 0 Ocean Kilo Victor of, in CW, of course. And, and then I got a reply from Canada, uh, Woodstock, Ontario, to Rochester, Minnesota. Rare DX, but it was a DX, and, and I was thrilled. You can do that with any antenna. Any resonant vertical antenna, you can do the same thing, although the radiation pattern will be kind of bizarre for a vertical, probably not what you want. The low angle radiation will be lost when you multiply it, uh, uh, the number of, uh, into three halves or five halves of a, uh, three quarters or five quarters of a wavelength for a quarter wavelength vertical. But you can always 
uh, uh, be assured of resonance for a dipole or vertical antenna at the third, fifth, seventh, etc. harmonics. And his question was, is the same true of fractional multiples of a half wavelength? That is to say, uh, would uh, instead of one half, would uh, uh, what, 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 or one half wavelength? How about uh, I don't I don't know if fractional multiples, fractions of a wavelength. You do the math. Is the same true as you shorten an antenna? Can you make it one third as long or one fifth as long or one seventh as long? And the answer is, well, you need inductive loading if you're going to do that because a purely resistive impedance at the feed point will exist only at the multiple uh, lengths. Once you get down to a half wavelength, you can't make an antenna any shorter than that and ever encounter a non-reactive center feed point impedance again unless you employ inductive loading and you don't necessarily want to do that. So that my answer to his question can you do fractions instead of multiples was nope. Now I go back to sleep <laughs> as if I'm not always half asleep at least. Stan Jimalisco, W1GV, saying 73 and so long, which in my native fist, regardless of the antenna length, type, or shape, always translates to da-da-da-da-da-da. -da 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 -da.